I'm Stacey, I'm a Probation Services Officer and I work at Maroochydore Community Corrections. My dad has worked in corrections for over 20 years. When I was looking to start my career, he spoke a lot about what he did and it gave me that interest. I actually didn't know about probation and parole. You know, I knew about prisons and things like that, but about probation and parole and supervising offenders on orders, it wasn't something that I had ever thought about. But I guess doing the course that I was doing, the criminal side of it and the criminal justice system was of interest. I studied a Diploma of Justice at TAFE and I started working in Corrections as Administration Officer. I then worked through the Academy and gained all of my training through work and have worked my way up into a position of a Probation Services Officer and I've been here for about 12 years. The good thing about working for Corrective Services is that working where I work, I live close to the beach. I'm able to enjoy the best of both worlds. I get to spend time with my husband and my children. Weekends and spare time, we're always close to the beaches, to the creeks, um, kayaking. So it's a great lifestyle and it certainly helps with the work-life balance. My role is I supervise community service workers on reparation orders. So anything from community service order, alcohol fueled violence order, graffiti removal orders. We also supervise work development orders where people have fines and they can do community service in lieu of paying those fines. I liaise with projects. I prosecute at court for people who aren't complying with the conditions of the orders. So the probation and parole officer role is quite diverse. The offenders that we work with some of these people have never worked a day in their life. They have never held down that job. They've never been on time. They've never packed their lunch and got themselves to work. Worked with another person taking direction as a probation services officer, getting them to complete successfully a community service order. That can be quite challenging. And the sense of pride that I've seen community service workers achieve, being able to complete a community service order, that's why I do my job. The changes you see in people, seeing the small changes, seeing the big changes, that's the best thing about our job and that's why we do what we do.